Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to In The Moment Sports Card. My name is James Hummel. I am on Instagram as Tops North. As always, I am here live every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern to talk about In The Moment Sports Cards, that being Tops Now, Panini Instant, and Upper Deck Game Dated Cards. Um, please uh, feel free to drop some comments. It's, it is a live stream. Uh, if you aren't able to catch me live on Sundays, I do post the video as uh, uh, something that can be seen anytime on my YouTube channel, obviously in the moment sports cards. I please do ask, go in and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let me know that you're watching. Give me some feedback. Give me some comments. I'd really like to know how to improve my show and uh, let people know. Let people know about my show. Let them know about what I'm talking about. As far as I know, I'm the only guy talking about this stuff right now. So, uh, yeah, please, I appreciate any feedback and, and any contributions to my show. So, uh, let's get started. I've got a few things to talk about this week. I've got uh, some Top Snow cards in this week. No Panini because they're still behind on getting cards out the door. I do have a shipment en route, so I hopefully we'll see those cards tomorrow. Uh, obviously, no upper deck because we're still waiting for things to transfer over to physical card, but lots of lots of Top Snow cards to show off. Uh, we'll show some cards that were released this week. There weren't a lot, but uh, we'll show. And then finally, we'll uh, we'll talk about the Tops Now Road to Opening Day sets uh, as we are into the fourth season, fifth, fourth, 17, 18, 19, 20, fifth season of the spring training sets. So let's get started. We'll start with Tops Now. Uh, I did finally receive the Tops Jeter Tops Now Jeter Chrome set, uh, card number nine. Again, I'm ordering a, a five pack. I use my my tops rewards points to uh, use to bring the cost per card down. And in a five pack, I hit not one, but two parallels. I was quite shocked. I ended up with the 99 refractor number 25. And I also ended up with the 49. Really nice looking, good looking cards. Number four of 49. So I'm probably going to get these graded. Don't know if I'm going to sell them. Uh, so yeah, very happy about these. Um, and then received quite a few autos this week. Um, Postseason sets, as you know, or may, may or may not know. Uh, tops now for teams that get into the postseason, they do sets similar to the road to opening day sets, which I'm going to talk about later on. Uh, but they do have postseason sets, and most of these postseason sets have autos uh, included with them. And if you bought, uh, depending on the number of uh, players that were in the, those sets, uh, the Jays had three autograph um, subjects. If you bought um, three sets. So let's just talk about the Jays. The Jays had three subjects in the, as part of the set. If you bought three sets, you were guaranteed one of each autograph. If you only bought one uh, set with an autograph, you were it was a random either. Well, it's three. So let me show you which autographs uh, I end up receiving. The Vlad, and uh, they are random numbers. So this one is out of ninety nine. So good looking card. Sorry, I'm gonna just try and adjust my light here a little bit because it's there we go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So Vlad out of 99. So you could end it up when ended up with uh, 99 of, out of a 49 out of a 25, uh 10, 5, and 1. So I ended up with a Vlad out of 99, uh Pearson out of 99. And the best color that I ended up receiving was the Beau Bichette out of 25. Let me see if I can top right corner there. Number four. I like to get number four. So obviously the Beau Bichette was a rookie card. And the Pearson was a call-up card. I think my finger's covering it there. Yeah, just on the bottom. Right by his autograph, a signature. So yeah, so uh, that was pretty good. 
fairly happy about that. I would have obviously loved to have had a one of one, but uh, I saw all those one of ones go to a lot of different collectors. Uh, Nelson in Velocity, he ended up hitting the one of one for Vlad, I believe. And I saw other um, uh, other Top Snow collectors end up getting the one of one Pearson and the one of one Bichette. Uh, we do have a comment, and I please feel free to comment, and I will uh, show them on the show. So Rod, Roderick, uh, extra thick Vladdy slim down version scored from a second on a single today. Yes. Yeah. If you, um, that's the other thing. There's a baseball game on. I've got my TV on here on the side with the Jays Yankees. The Jays were up five, four just before we went live here. Uh, yeah. Vlad lost 40 pounds in the off season, 42 to be exact. Uh, he's definitely slimmed down and, uh, and hopefully he's swinging that bat harder and he's going to be faster around the bases. He was already pretty, pretty good around those bases, even though he's a little overweight. Uh, I'm one to talk, but yeah, <laughs> hopefully that means a good season ahead. He's, he's definitely due. He, he had a rough season last year, you know, pandemic didn't help, but, uh, hopefully he's swinging the bat more this season. And finally, uh, one more mail card. Uh, mail call card. This was the Bo Bichette autograph relic card. And this one was out of 99. So it is a piece of a base. And it was for first Blue Jays player to hit a home run in Buffalo debut. So uh, this piece of base did end up uh, on the field at Bison, no, what's it called now? Shalen Field in Buffalo. It used to be Coca-Cola Field, I believe. They changed it a couple of seasons ago. So, yeah, pretty pretty nice card. So that was the mail for the week. Uh, lots of other cards coming in. I ended up with a couple of other soccer cards, actually. I forgot to bring those down. Um, but hopefully some, some more Panini tomorrow, and, and I'll be able to show this off. And hopefully... Panini will get their their uh, manufacturing uh, and processing plant going. Uh, they're a little bit behind. I'm still waiting on carts from the beginning of the month. They were doing really well. That snowstorm really didn't help them out. And uh, yeah, hopefully more cards this week to show off. All right, so moving along to the week in cards. Again, coming back to Panini, they were um, they're behind. Uh, they only had three or four cards for NBA this week. Uh, no rookies, just Zion, Jamal Murray, and Joel Embiid. Um, I think there was one other that I might have missed, but really quiet week. They're still catching up. Hopefully, we'll see some more cards this coming week. Um, I think the All-Star Game is coming up, so we'll probably see some All-Star Game cards. I know in the past they've done um, All-Star Game sets. And then they also obviously feature moments from the All-Star Game. So... Hopefully, I'm not too sure what that date is. I, I, I didn't actually check it before I came on. Uh, so hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll see what's going on there. Moving over to Upper Deck. So the drama continues with Upper Deck. Uh, they still do not have any new cards. I uh, thankfully was able to get my own cards from the last week, which was week four. Uh, again, struggled. I had to send many emails to find out what was going on. They um, they only just gave me my cards this week. Again, I bought two of each card, uh, and I did very well. As you can see, I ended up with uh, base uh, two base for each and then a gold of both the Stamkos and Kelyev. Um, sadly, no gold on Bergeron, which I'm all right with. Hey, 50-50 chance on these two, 50% uh, return on these two cards. Very happy with that. Um, I did have an opportunity to ask uh, one of the executives from Upper Deck. They were on the uh, other show that I frequent, uh, sorry, watch frequently on YouTube, which is Hobby Hotline. I, I highly recommend watching that show. It's Saturdays at 11 p.m. Eastern. They go live with uh, various hosts. They allow people to come on just like I welcome anybody to come on and, and watch and join me on my show um but yeah they they had chris uh what was the gentleman's last name but chris i can't remember sorry chris 
don't know if you're watching, uh, but Chris is an executive with Upper Deck and he talked about a lot of the different products and I did call in and I asked him what was going on with Upper Deck game dated moments. They are still working through their issues. It sounds like they use a third party vendor to deal with their online store and they are still working through that. He acknowledges that it has been a bit of a customer nightmare, um, customer service nightmare. He, you know, he was very transparent about that. I, I appreciate that he was, and hopefully that gets fixed soon. He mentioned that there were some great shots and great cards for the outdoor game that they just played last weekend in somewhere in the South. I can't remember. I know they had problems with the ice. I was watching a little bit of it and uh, the ice was melting. It wasn't staying frozen. So they had to postpone the game. Um, but yeah, Waiting. I'm waiting. I really like to see more moment cards. Uh, yeah. I, and, and obviously the other ones that I purchased back in January, they should be coming to physical or I should be able to transfer them to physical cards soon because it is about a four to six week period. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to, to transfer those to physical and get them mailed out to me. Again, if you're, as I mentioned way back in episode two about the uh, game dated moments program, their digital cards for about a month, month and a half. After that period of time, you're able to transfer them to physical and send them off to ComC to be able to be shipped to you, the buyer. Uh, so that that time is coming for those first few cards in January, which should include a couple of Laffy cards, Lafreniere cards, which I'm really excited about getting, getting them in hand, hopefully selling and maybe making some money off of them and getting them graded. I just submitted um, or I'm just about to send my, my March submission for PSA to PSA Canada. Uh, did I include hockey in those? I think I did. So very much looking forward to those and getting them back in nine months. Anyway, moving along from Upper Deck EPAC to Tops Now, and that keeps messing up on me. That's okay. So Bundesliga, um, probably the most exciting card out of this out of these this week's cards were the Holland card. This player is on fire from what I understand, talking to a lot of folks like Roderick. Um, he is the player to watch. This this guy is just amazing. He scored another goal. As you can see with the picture, he had a scissor kick goal, which usually are, are fantastic goals to watch. So that'll be a, an amazing card to get in hand. I ordered five for myself. Uh, moving over to UEFA Champions League. These were some interesting cards. Uh, these were only available to the UK European Tops Now site, Top Site. Um, when you go to on the Top Site, uh, in the right top right corner, you can choose the drop-down box to either purchase from the USA site or the UK EU site. Um, these were only available through the UK EU site, which... I have not seen so far. They have had some other tops cards. They've been called Lost Rookies. They've been going back and getting uh, producing cards of of some pretty significant players like Messi and. Um, but these were tops now cards that were only available through the UK site. Thankfully, there is a, a Nelson in Velocity. He was he is doing a group buy from those, so I was able to pick up the the Holland card again. Top player. Um, yeah, it's, it'll be interesting to see what the print runs are on those cards because they were only available overseas. Moving from that into Champions League. So here were some, so that was for Champions League earlier in the week, but then later in the week, they made these available for UK, EU, and the US market. Uh, five cards available. Obviously, the big one is the Jamal Musila. I think I mispronounced his name. Um, as I've pictured, there are three different color variations on this card. It is a rookie card. It's going to be a big card. I think people are going to build, buy a lot, not only because it's it's a rookie card, but also because there are parallels involved. Wouldn't be surprised if there were forty to 50,000 of these printed. I ordered a few for myself. Obviously, I'd love to get a parallel, but... Again, another rookie card, and, and I'm always willing to buy those. I really like that uh, Giroud um, uh, bicycle kick card. Uh, I believe I bought one of those. I can't remember, to be honest. I just submitted an order today. And uh, Roderick agrees with me that uh, 
that that how do you pronounce it, Roderick? I don't even know that that Musilia card is going to be big. It's uh, yeah. Well, when you're when you're playing for uh, Mayor. Um, FC Marin. Oh, I can't remember. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to butcher names here, even though I'm German. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be a big card for sure. All right. So moving away from that, we are talking about uh, the one of the main topics that I wanted to talk about today was the road to opening day set. Baseball is kicked off today. Spring training is going. Oh, here, Roderick's Musiala. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Roderick. Um, so, yeah. So the big thing is obviously road to opening day sets. Spring training is running. We got games on. The Jays are still winning five to four. So what are the road to opening day sets? So as I've mentioned, Tops now does do sets throughout the year. Uh, they do uh, this road to opening day set. They do an all-star game set. They do. They have done players weekend sets and the postseason sets. Um, road to opening day sets, they started in 2017. It is a 15 card set and they feature, you know, the big players and some rookies. And then usually it's also the first cards of players that have just joined the team. Uh, so yeah, so they started in 2017. This was actually right around the time that I got into tops now cards and I, and I started to pay attention to them. Um, I don't have a lot of regrets in my life. This is one of them. Um, again, I saw the Blue Jays sets come up, and I sat on those sets. I had them in the cart in tops for probably the better part of a month. I'd go back to it, and I'd hum and haw about, oh, should I buy these sets? Should I buy them? I was just getting back into cards, and I skipped them. And that was probably the biggest collecting mistake I've ever made. Um if you don't know, the sets from 2017 are severely underprinted. Let me show you. I'm going to go into the top site and I'm going to uh, I'm going to share the print runs of the 2017 sets. Give me one second here. Here we go. All right, so here we go. This is, I just want to make sure I'm still sharing. Yep, great. So these are all the 2017 Tops Now Road to Opening Day sets. So again, just to come back to these sets, these sets come in a base set, which are usually $49.99, 15 card set, but then they also offer autographs. Again, similar to the postseason sets, they offer autographs. Um, so there were not all the teams because it really, I guess tops really looked at, you know, are there any big stars that are going to have some great autos that maybe attract buyers? So they don't necessarily have all the, uh, all the teams represented with autographs. Um, and the prices vary, uh, depending on how big the players are, you know, they usually run about 89, 99 to, you know, 99, 99, unless you get into a bigger team like the Yankees. Now this first year looks like most of the teams were a hundred bucks. Dodgers were 120. Um, yeah, but it's not so much the autograph sets that I wanted to talk about. It's the base sets. These were severely underprinted. So we'll get into teams like the Blue Jays. There were only 46 sets of these cards printed. That's really low considering the majority of, you know, the average MLB Tops Now card is around 300 cards for a single card. And there were only 46 sets printed of the Jays. That is not the lowest. The lowest goes to Tampa Bay was pretty low at 30. Uh, San Diego had 27 sets. So there's only 27 copies of this sets around of this set around. Uh, 2732 for the Brewers. I believe it was the White Sox also had 27 sets. Yeah. So the lowest was 27, 33 for Arizona. So there are only 27 collectors out there 
with to uh, do, 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 do. Where are they again? Even eighty-five for the Angels. That's that's so low. Uh, what was it again? It was. Sorry if I'm making people dizzy. Chicago and uh, what was the other one? San Diego, right? Chicago and San Diego, twenty. Seven Marlins is also always the lowest. Yeah, there. Uh, Roderick's just saying uh, Marlins usually have low print runs. Absolutely, you know. Although with Kyle Loose on that team now, who knows? Maybe they'll bring the print run up. But this is what I'm talking about. This 2016, 2017 road to opening day sets just um, unbelievable. The number. Obviously, again, it was the first year they were just coming out of the first year of having tops. Now, 2016 being the first year. And moving to, you know, introducing a new set, get some excitement for the set. Yeah, like even the bigger teams, they they were, even the Yankees. Yankees only had 120 sets. Yankees sell upwards of 600 cards for even just, a, a you know, one of their non-big name players, right? The Yankees, uh, Yankees market is huge, so... It's uh, 2016, 2017, that, again, coming back to what I was saying, one of my biggest collecting regrets, not uh, not buying the Blue Jay set. Uh, I, I am thankful I was able to buy a set from, uh, again, Nelson at Velocity. He, this is just as I was getting into Top Style cards, and, and I met him at uh, the Sports Card Expo here in Toronto. He, uh, within a couple of years, he, he agreed to sell me a set at a fairly decent price, but uh, it's they're hard to find. They're definitely hard to find. So just going back to the other sets. So, yep, yeah, 2018, this is when they started to, you know, this, the print run started to get up there. Roderick saying, uh, wasn't Marlins even lower the following year? Sorry, I didn't get a chance to look at previous year's uh print runs, but I, I believe you're right, Roderick. There were some other sets in the next couple of years that were, were below 100. Um, but I, I think collectors got wise to these sets and they've seen the print runs go up. Um, the funny thing with these sets now, so yeah, so just, and obviously the these are the probably the one of the first cards, Top Snow cards that show the new design for the Top Snow uh, season. You get some funny cards in there too, like uh, you know the 2018 set was the Troy Tulowitzki. The apparently the photographer, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently the photographer thought he was a pitcher and asked him to take a pitcher pose, um, which he was more than happy to do, and and uh, they they joked about it, but they printed the card like this and. Which is uh, which is funny to see, um, but there's some other interesting shots there, and it's usually from them doing training or definitely from games. And I, the only problem I find with these uh, pre uh, preseason cards or, or, or spring training cards, the shots that they use are very similar to say, um, not heritage, yeah, heritage to to tops heritage. Um, I. I I wish they didn't use these photos, but you know they're they're paying photographers to to take photos for things like Topps Heritage. They've got to be able to reuse them. Um, Yankees cart set from last year. There were a lot of these posed kind of photos. Uh, looked like they were in a studio. They weren't even outside in the uh, in their spring training facilities. So they're a bit of a hit and a miss. Uh, so I'm just moving on to this year's set. Uh, so again, they're using the new the new series. Um, you won't be able to see all the photos from these sets. Obviously, they're they still have photographers going and taking photos of the of the players. Uh, so there's only a couple of sets that have some photos representative of uh, what they're going to be looking like or or what photos they're using for the set. But they will show a checklist, and they do say that the checklist is still TBA uh, TBD. One of the things that they'll do in the last couple of years is they will put um, you buy the set of 15 and there's the chance to end up with a 16th card of a player that is going to debut for that season. So what am I talking about? 
last in 2019 when Vlad Guerrero Jr. Uh, came up to the Blue Jays in late April, mid to late April. Um, they produced a card for Vlad from that Road to Opening Day set, but they weren't able to produce them and send them out to collectors until the player debuted. And they've done that with a few other series uh, or other sets and other teams. I can't remember which, but I just can remember Vlad. Um, you know, it's speculation. They obviously can't say it because who knows something could happen to that player. They, you know, they may not end up coming up or they may get traded or they may get left down in the, in, in the minor leagues, but it, it kind of adds some mystery and excitement to these sets and sometimes drives up the sets. Um, one of the other things with these road to opening day sets is there's potential for bonus cards. I should have grabbed it, but I apologize. Um, if a team, someone on the team hits three home runs in a game or they hit for the cycle or a pitcher pitches 15 strikeouts in a game or they pitch a perfect game or a, um, a no hitter. And then if the team is in first place by the all-star game, all-star break, you get a bonus card and it's usually a gold card and they only produce as many cards uh, of the sets. So if they produce a hundred sets, they only produce a hundred of these bonus cards. Last year, the Jays, uh, Kevin Biggio obviously hit a cycle and how was that last year? That might've been the year before uh, Kevin. It was the year before Kevin Biggio uh, hit for the cycle late in the season and they produced a bonus card for it. Um, so there's some, there's some great opportunities for these bonus cards as well. Um, the autograph versions of this year's sets have almost sold out. Oh, and Roderick's, sorry, thanks. Roderick's just reminding me that one of the other new, um, bonus cards you can get is a 500 foot home run. Obviously they're using, uh, more metrics and, and more things to, to measure players, you know, velocity and, and distance and such. So if a player hits a home run over 500 feet, there is a bonus card. Let's see what happens. I don't, I'm not too sure how many players have done that. Um, the, the autograph cards or the autograph sets have sold out faster than they ever have. Blue Jays in the past have gone for a week or two uh, before they've sold out. They sold out same day, uh, which was a big, big shock. Um, all the other sets I believe have mostly sold out. Unfortunately, you can't get them now. So I would recommend though, going for some of the base sets. I have put up a discount code. Uh, if you have purchased tops now cards in the past from the past year, uh, you may end up receiving a promo card. I believe it's again, this year, Mike Trout previous years, it's been Mike Trout. Um, it's a free card that they mail out. On the back of the card has this code for spring 21 and you get 25% off of the road to opening day sets. Highly recommend using it. It's probably the best discount you're going to receive all season unless you use your top snap points, obviously. Um, but yeah, go in and grab these sets. Use that code. You may end up with a really, really low print run depending on how popular they are. Although with the autograph sets, you know, you're looking at at least three to four hundreds of these sets already sold. So Blue Jays are not going to be under a hundred, but some of these sets that don't have autographs, they could still print under a hundred sets. Um, 15 card set. It's a bit of a, a little bit pricey to be honest, 49 99, but you know, obviously with the 25% off it brings that cost, cost per card down. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, one more comment here from Wicked Discounts saying hello. Thanks, uh, Wicked. And I definitely did give your channel a follow, so I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Uh, Road to opening day. Spring training has started. Yay, baseball. This is uh, my spring training hat for Arizona uh, side of uh, spring training. Um, but yeah. That's it for today. Again, thank you for watching. Always appreciate people commenting and liking my video. Please subscribe. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see. Give me some feedback. Always willing to looking ways to improve my channel. And yeah, really just um, please come back, watch, and have a great week. Check out all those new cards coming out. Talk to you soon.